Okay, Tim, you're welcome. Was that Tim Watley? Yes, it was. He wanted your address. You, my friend, are going to be invited to his night before Thanksgiving party. You know, he's got that great apartment on 77th Street, and they overlook where they inflate all those huge balloons for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I have always had a big crush on Tim Watley. Why can't he ask me out? Oh, he's a dentist. You don't want to go out with a dentist. Why? And I'll always be criticizing your brushing technique. It'll drive you crazy. Away from the gums. Have you gotten all the salt of those pretzels yet? No, I'm still working on it. What two places are you listening to? Artie Shaw, Honeysuckle Jump. That was Artie Shaw, Honeysuckle Jump. Elaine, how did you know that? Oh, well, my father used to have a huge collection of big band records. Congratulations to our listener, Wayne Hopper, for identifying it. And by doing so, he becomes our seventh person to man the WFBB-sponsored Woody Woodpecker balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. There are only three spots left. We're going to take a little break now. When we come back, you'll have three more chances to win a spot holding a rope under Woody Woodpecker. Could you identify the next song? Could you? Could you? But Mr. Pitt, why would you want to hold one of the ropes from the Woody Woodpecker balloon? My father was a stern man. He forbade us to participate in any activities that he thought were associated with the common man. The Thanksgiving Day Parade was first on the list. Ah, oh, all right. Okay, I'll do the best I can. All right, here we go for the next spot under the balloon. If you know the name of this next song, call 555-BAND. Well, Elaine, do you know it? What song is it? Will you shut up? I can't hear. I'm sorry. Oh, I've got it! It's Mr. Potter's Mill. Goody! Yes, yes, yes! So, Jerome, I did a little snooping around for you. Oh, what'd you find out, Lois? Well, I talked to Tim Watley. Yeah? And I asked him, should Jerry bring anything? Subtle. Mm -hmm. And he said, why would Jerry bring anything? All right, but let me ask you this question. What, what? Which word did he emphasize? Did he say, why would Jerry bring anything? Or, why would Jerry bring anything? Did he emphasize Jerry or bring? I think he emphasized wood. You know what? The hell with this party. I don't even want to go to begin with. Excuse me, uh, Dennis. 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 You a dentist? You a dentist? <laughs> These are the balloons? Big deal. All I see is Woody Woodpecker. Well, you got a problem with Woody Woodpecker? Yeah. What, what is he? Some sort of an instigator? <laughs> That's right. He's a troublemaker. <laughs> hey, Elaine, did you get my message? What? I can't hear a word you're saying. I was stuck at the Dixieland Deli all day. My head is still ringing. Where's Tim? Well, what is that, the Empire State Building? What? I can't hear you. Elaine, would you marry me? I, I told you, I can't hear a word. All right, I got it. Jerry. Hey, Tim. Jerry, I didn't think you'd show. Did you say... Jerry, I didn't think you'd show. Or Jerry, I didn't think you'd show. <laughs> Elaine, hi. Whoa. Tim. <laughs> well, I'm really glad you came. What? I'm really glad you came. Uh-huh. Uh, listen, Elaine, I've been wanting to ask you, uh, would you like to go out with me New Year's Eve? Wait until Monday, come by my office. Just just a quick peek. I'm in agony. All right, sit down. It's this one here in the back. <laughs> oh! You popped Woody Woodpecker! <laughs> hey, who invited you anyway? You're a troublemaker. <laughs> Looks like Woody Woodpecker is running out of air. In fact, He's collapsed. <laughs> These kids look pretty disappointed. Especially that big kid up in the front. 